Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Fallout 4. We've got some weapons to test today. Um, let me try and stick these down here so I can read them. Where you guys can't see them because they're on my secondary screen, but they're down low enough to where I can read them so I can look them up. Fallout 4 should be launching. Oh, I forgot. I gotta change my display size. Whoopsie. I've got an energy drink. I'm going to drink it because I'm a little bit tired. As always, delicious pumping, deliciously pumping through my veins. Yes. Minimize that. Bring this back down to the bottom. Wait for the program to respond. Go to seven. <clears throat> you guys should be able to see it in mere moments. Why can't you? I thought I had changed that. Why, still can't you? There we go. How's everyone doing tonight? Good, I hope. Yes, I have Valius Textures 2K. I figured out what gun that is! So we're going to test it today. I think I've almost tested every weapon in this pack, finally. And I have yet to find a terrible one. We're currently having an issue with the Project Russian pack, where the SVD Dragnov isn't loading its texture. But other than that, I'm not seeing any other issues. But that might be a load order and an, or an install issue. It may have installed incorrectly, so I can I can look at the inst I can reinstall it and you look and, and and you know on in my free time. We're just doing the bulk of the weapon testing here on stream. We'll do more of it off stream. All right, so help a q u i l a space four. Did I put a period there? Did I crash my game? There we go. 
5E000 F99 space 1. Yeah, buddy. Help R S 2 4 Wep Help M604 Wep Player dot add item two C zero zero one F two D Yes, Dragon Reigns. Thank you for the reminder. MK14 space 4 space wet 2700080 space 1. Help MCMILLAN space 4 space wet. Help CS5 space 4 space wet. Four four zero 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 F A eight space one. <clears throat> Get rid of all my junk. Weapons put away. Put away. Put away, put away, put away, put away. Keep the fat man. Get rid of the gamma gun, the Glock, that thing. Get rid of the long ten weather ten milli. We'll keep the nineteen eleven. We'll keep the Mark fourteen EBR. Put the machete away. Put the Mauser away. XM twenty ten. Put the Mauser away. Put the Scar LK away. Muzzle twelve point seven. Chi Chiapa triple threat put away. Put the Mac 11 away. Put the Jag away. Put the Caparis, the PP19, the two Bisons. Keep the PTRS 41. There is my M60. Put the Dragnovs away. We will keep the Saiga. There's the Aquila. Put the service rifle away, put the SCAR L L LK away, the VSV, the simple rifle, the APS, the A1 AUG, the Super Sledge. Keep the CS5 because that's what we're looking at messing with. I've actually already used the CS5 and I love it. Tactile hardened automatic service rifle, put it away. Crude blowback, tire iron, and the Mac 23. Mark 23. Put that away. I don't know why my power armor goes invisible in this room. Nineteen eleven pistol, what can we do to you? R no R R Craft. 1911 pistol. Let's put hardened on it. Give it a bit more damage. Let's put a threaded barrel on it. Can't do a black grip. Quick eject mag. Sounds good to me. Faster reloading. Standard sights. Go ahead and put some glow sights on it. Muzzle, we could put we can't put a suppressor on and a mount. We could put a mount on it, but there's no reason to, so we're not going to. The Mark 14 EBR. Semi-auto receiver, hardened receiver. Go ahead and put the hardened receiver on it. Short barrel, long barrel. Make it more of a rifle. Mod zero, mod one, two. 
iron sights. Let's go ahead and put this EOTech with magnifier. We'll leave the flash hider on her. Oh, so that's how you change the magnifier. You change the recoil and the damage. Uh, we'll leave those alone for now. Let's press harden CS5. We have a long barrel, a hardened receiver. Okay, so we can't put the marksman stock on it. What can we do with the mag? Can we do large quick eject mag? Large quick eject mag it is. Reflex sight, a suppressor. Ammo type, we have 308 rounds. We do 50 cal. We'll go ahead and make it 50 cal. And we'll leave the damage alone. Hopefully the damage modifier is at one. Yes, it is. And Brotherhood, that's fine. And the Aquila rifle. Boosted condenser. Okay. Large battery red. Oh, laser battery red or blue. Optical sight four times. Damage modifiers, reticles. Sniper barrel. That's all we can do. Futuristic material. Dirty. Broken glass. Oh! I'm gonna go with the broken glass. Looks cool. Basic module, eyes eyes. M60 war pig. Let's make it a short barrel. Like watching an artist at work. 50 round ammo box, can't do a hundred round. Gunner sights, iron sights. Let's use iron sights, flip that thing up. And flash suppressor, we'll go ahead and keep on there. Alright, so, Q, 1, we got a pistol, Q, no, we'll keep you on 2, Q, we'll put you on 3, you're on 4 now, you're on 5. You're on six. You're on seven. You're on eight. And you are on nine. I do not have infinite weight, but I do have 1,200, so. What are we doing?
Hi. Excuse me. You need something or someone dead? You've come to the right place. I might be interested in buying or selling. This is what I got. That was it. No problem. Hey, yo, Murphy. Sure, you were gonna make it back in one piece. Any trouble out there? It was a walk in the park. It was a walk in the park. That's what I like to hear. Here, got you a little something for the trouble. Let me know when you're ready for the next job. Any news on your side? Just been cleaning things up here from the raid. Speaking of which, if you want to lend a hand, feel free to use the workshops around here. There's one on the first floor and also a second one in the bunker. Have a look around and make yourself comfortable. Like a good neighbor, Tata is here. Who are you? Raven. Where'd Murphy go? Hey, yo, Murphy! Hey. If you're ready to get started on the next phase, let me explain. Just point me to the action. Just point me to the action. I got a pal and good neighbor. Goes by the name Hancock. After what happened at University Point and Quincy, He's got some concerns about the next shoe to drop in downtown Boston. What do you mean? Every urban area has pressure points. Centers of gravity that hold a region's economy together. Take out the pressure points, and it inflicts a disproportionate amount of economic pain. Trade suffers, supply chains stop moving, and eventually people start going hungry. The fabric of society starts to crumble. The Institute knows this. So do the Gunners. It's not hard to guess what their next targets might be. Is Diamond City really in danger? It's not like there's raiders pounding on the gate. Maybe not raiders, but they got super mutant hordes right around the corner. And since have infiltrated their local government. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Diamond City isn't the settlement most in danger of fallen. Good neighbor is. Why do you say that? You mean, besides the elevated sniper perches surrounding the town, and the relative ease of blockading the entrance so no food or supplies can get in or out? Uh, yeah. Obviously. It's like this. If your settlement is poor, you can't afford adequate security. If your security stinks, your enemies eventually take notice, and sooner or later, they'll either demand tribute or conquer you. So, if you want your city not to get pillaged, you need a functional economy. It's hard to pull off when your clientele is primarily low-end chem addicts and drifters. There's no real money in catering to riffraff like that. For good neighbor to survive, it needs to attract a higher class of clientele. It makes sense, I suppose. Bottom line? Hancock wants to clean up good neighbor. Starting with the chem dealers selling drugs to kids, the thugs harassing visitors for protection money, the back alley murders, the gang activity, and the never-ending stream of aspiring scam artists. He wants all of them gone. Not detained, not bargained with, just gone. It makes sense to get rid of the trash. What's the catch? As mayor, he can't be officially connected to ordering hits on his constituency. So, 
He's contracted out certain jobs on the down low to a few people he trusts. That's where you come in. I need some details here. A gun looks okay. good in my hands, man. There's three jobs I want you to start with. First job is to entrap an old ghoul who's been trying to rip off Hancock. Second one is to eliminate a trigger man gang infesting the town's warehouses. And a third task is to take out a few miscreants plaguing the local economy. You can do the jobs in any order you want. I've written down all the details on this holotape, including the local contacts to get started. Once the jobs are complete, cross them off your list and we'll move on to the next phase. And one more thing. You did us a solid with that gunner job. Anything we can help you with in return? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. I'm looking for help to find him. Man, sorry to hear that. Can you describe how he got kidnapped? We were in a vault when it happened. Um, vault 111. It was some kind of cryo facility. My husband was <laughs> murdered. He was just trying to keep them from taking Sean and they... They just... Just... Take your time. We're listening, of course. But details would be helpful. There was a man and a woman. Um, they didn't say much, but... But I remember they... They called me the backup. The woman was dressed in a... I think it was kind of a hazard suit. The man had... Some sort of metal brace on his arm. One of them came right up to me. Bald head, scar across his left eye. I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like, like sandpaper. Okay. You didn't happen to get... No. They never said their names. Yeah, I kind of figured. Uh -huh. That's crazy. They had us cryogenically. The man? Rather tremendous. So, uh -huh. sounds a bit like a low. Rumor is he had a place in Diamond. Please, tell me what you know. Fuck, this is a tough one. I shouldn't be sh Look, there's a hollow. A hollow tape? Tough to explain. But the gist, the, the last thing she told me, not the type of thing. Uh -huh. I asked her why. She just whispered. Right. Took a while. I appreciate you telling me. Just promised me that whatever. She doesn't know. You have my word. And hey. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Holding out for a hero till the morning light. Do I need to go up to talk to them? Yeah. Hey, Holly. Hi. Name's Holly. It's nice to meet you. You interested in having a little fun? I'm listening. I'm listening. So, let me ask you something. You ever read comic books? What's it to you? What's it to you? Old comics are my absolute favorite. I think they cater to human aspiration. Distilling our best and worst human qualities and pitting them against each other in an entertaining conflict. The best ones show us pieces of ourselves in all the different heroes. And besides, superheroes are wicked cool. Couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. I grew up in an old print shop where they had a stash of undelivered comics. All sorts of great characters, but my favorite was Harley Quinn. I first noticed Holly's comic because she had the same first name as me. But as I read more of her stories, it felt like we had a real connection. Why do you say that? Holly was a good person who got drawn into a dark lifestyle because she tried to fix someone she loved. Most girls can relate trying to change a guy who's never going to change. There's something intense and passionate about being with someone who pulls you back in each time they hurt you. No matter how powerful and strong you are as a person, sometimes you lose control. Your obsession keeps you holding on for the crazy ride, lusting after the highs and waiting out the lows. 
I know the feeling. All I'm saying is that sometimes us girls can get a little, you know, overzealous. When we put our minds to it, we're way more devious, scheming, and vindictive than our male counterparts could ever be. And Harley Quinn is the epitome of that. She's an out-and-out -out crazy bitch. There's something you just want to applaud about a character so unashamed of her utterly disastrous mentality. She knows she's crazy, but she wholeheartedly embraces it and makes it work. She's a no-fucks-given, hot-pants-wearing middle finger to the rest of the world. Plus, she's fun. And who doesn't like a bit of fun? Mr. J. I'm not here to argue with you. I wanted to be just like Holly growing up. And part of that never went away. Lately, I've been trying to track down some of her gear. I found an old article in the Fallon's archives saying that before the war, Harley Quinn outfits were some of the most popular costumes for Halloween. I want to find one. And I think I know where to look. So, give me the details. There was an old clothing store called Hot Topic down at the Monsinger Plaza. <sighs> Legend is they were in the business of selling overpriced Hot Topic. merchandise to teens who wanted a gothic or punk look. And if a Holly Quinn costume was as popular as I'm reading, maybe they've got an extra outfit or two lying around. Sounds like an important Sounds mission. Sounds like an important mission. I don't care much for traveling down to that area without backup. Place is crawling with raiders. And everyone else here thinks that chasing after an old costume is a waste of time. But you, I've got a feeling you might be different. So, what do you think? Will you come with me? That's what floats your boat? All right then, we'll head out when you're ready. Hot, if hot topic. If doesn't have it, I know a couple other places we can look. Need to go upstairs further. I have an army with me now. This area is rather tidy. All right, everybody downstairs. Come on, dog, get out of the way. All right, we're going to save the game right here just in case somebody's out there waiting to blow our head off. I said save. Alright, so where do we need to go? Yep, let's fast travel over here. Button pusher, thank you for the host. What's up? Uh, we're testing out some more of the Depravity quest line. At least I think it's the Depravity quest line. And we're testing out a few different weapons. We finally got our hands on the Aquila rifle, the Aquila laser rifle. I was looking at mods earlier and I looked at my download list and I scrolled through on Nexus and I scrolled through. I organized them by category and 
scrolled through the weapon section and found the Aquila laser rifle is the rifle that I've been seeing that never gives me a name. So we got that. We got the M60 War Piggy, a Mark 14, and another CS5. We're going to go ahead and save over here. So the laser rifle looks really good. We got a temporary follower. So we got an army behind us. We got two temporary followers. And we got a dog, a robot, and a person. So we kind of got an army with us. What are y'all shooting at? Well, the laser rifle's pretty good. What about eight? What do we got on eight? Oh, we got 50 cal. Nine is uh, our Mark 14. This is our Mark 14. I am unmuted, correct? You guys can hear me properly. Uh, yeah, this is a hollow site in in uh, an EOTech site with a zoom. And in the crafting menu, you can actually what do we got on six? Where's the war piggy? Is the M60 on six? No, what is on six? A Saiga? Oh, the Saiga 12's missing its uh, texture. Saiga, or the Saiga 20S is missing its texture. Ooh, what do you take? War Piggy takes 762 by 51. 762.51 space four. Help. 
x help point two C zero zero E B E four. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to scrap it yet. I'll move it up to the top or the bottom. <laughs> what? The devil? Hey. War piggy! Let me reload the piggy! Get off me! My way, people. I'm the party pooper. I'm the party pooper. Fourth floor, guns is laundry. Hello, people. I want to test my war piggy. Give me that fedora. Got it. War Piggy does need speed cola. something comes up tell me what's on your mind sometimes the only way to stay sane is to go a little crazy I think I've got everything I need to know I'll be here all day how do you gather Intel Use a terminal. Derp. Harley Quinn jacket. I'm not reading that.
I'm trying to loot that body. War Piggy, you're the one. You make bad guys explode in blood. Oh, War Piggy, you are the one. Oh, I will take Mr. Handy Fuel. Where are we going? Yeah, we're going to go to the Boston Public Library. Why might I have to get out of my power armor? My power armor looking good. It working good, too. It's great for punching people in the face. Oh, to loot that man. Yeah. it. I might have had to go around. It was a dead person. I don't know how their body ended up where it did, but it was kind of funny. Each issue of Robco's Fun includes a holotape containing a unique game which can be played on your Pip-Boy or any terminal. Alright, uh... We're going this way. Peggy needs speed cola. Backstreet Apparel, huh? Forgot about that place. I think it's close by, just across the river to the west. Dang. War Piggy's good. Where? What the? Get down. Where'd that legendary one go? <laughs> Did you see that legendary run one run away from me? Where'd she go? Disappearing at us. We haven't but it's short time. Ah! 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 
threat neutralized. I don't know, man. She was there, and then she's gone. She just straight up disappeared. Muffled what? Oh. Right leg. I mean, it, it is an LMG, so... We're gonna save before we go in here. It is an LMG, so so I understand the reload being long, but yeah, you're right. I, I need to... I need to be careful with how much I shoot. Get down. Well, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily call it OP. It's definitely a strong gun. Thank you. Huh? Oh. Ah. Somebody want to get up there, take a few bullets? I mean, it's definitely strong, but if it's locked behind a high level wall. Like, if you could get this thing at level 10, yes, it's overpowered. I don't want to go to the fens yet. No, I'm trying to get to you. I'll look on the mod page uh, before I end. Remind me. And I'll look on the mod page. I'll look on the mod page uh, when I end the stream. And I'll see what where it puts it. Sweet. That's it. Hey, this guy has a gravity fist. I'm not going to read that. So what level am I? Level 15, and I found a gravity fist. I did not install that one spike punchy thingy.
the lightning does not work on the on that particular mod. On on the mod page, he says he he took the lightning off because he couldn't get it to work the way he wanted. And on a different mod page that was updated before that page was updated, he said that he was having issues, like on a different modding website, he said he was having issues with when you applied the lightning claw to an NPC, the NPC would disappear. They would turn invisible. And he was trying to fix that when... when he did club snuggle sorry forgot to turn my light back on Uh, guys, we got a ghoul infestation. Harley, are you going to fight or are you just going to stand there? We can't tell Arnold to go away because we need him. We could tell Harley to go away at any point in time. I think it's funny right now to have five people with me. We're kind of just seeing how hard it is to move around with multiple followers is what we're doing at the moment. See if it really breaks anything. Oh no! Yes, I do. I just don't know how to activate it. Hey. Okay. Mod config... Bullet time hotkey is mouse. Oh, oh. Yeah, 
It's on my mouse four. That works for me. Ooh, does it burn through, uh... We haven't much time. Oh, look, more ghouls. from everywhere. Oh my god. Where's my 100 round war piggy? <laughs> when are you going to start bringing it? Blah blah blah. You are German. Oh, it's over here. Where is that legendary glowing one? What'd they have on them? Yeah, Vats has always been kind of cheaty. I understand what you're saying there. I'm not in combat. Twenty compared to two hundred. Well, I mean, 
it's only 57. It's not that bad. Like, I mean, the PTRS has 169. I mean, it's a sniper, but it's got less than my shotgun does. Less than the XM2010. I mean, it's got less than a sniper still, so... I think it's it's heavy, too. H yeah, it's hardened. So it, it is upgraded. Like, it's it's not stock. Where's the audio for this gun? Okay, that's broken. Oh my god, there's so many! Oh my god, there's so many! That's it! Give me my punchy weapon! Going to toe-to-toe -to -toe with a bunch of ghouls! Nothing's stronger than my fist! Yeah! Whew. 
I, I, I get what you're saying there, Button. I get what you're saying. But damn! My my fist was putting putting them down twice as fast as the guns were. I'm programmed to protect you. Oh, that's it. Come on. <laughs> I think I punched her too. But I, I just gotta say, man. The the guns ain't ain't out damaging my fist yet. My fists are pretty powerful. I mean I have a couple upgraded in the fist, but man, some of those guns have pretty crazy damage. <laughs> Uh oh. Don't you die on Let's go. Talk to the hand. Talk to the hand. Targeting quad barrel missile launcher. A rocket axe? Dude, that's so awesome. I might have to test that. A rocket hacks? So, so light him up. Tell tell me you you threw this thing. Hey! You are terminated. We haven't much time. Still want that Harley back? Come try and take it from me. I'll be up on the roof. Are, are you telling me you threw this thing, or...? Or like the super sledge. Oh no. Oh, so you think it was more like the super sledge? Oh, now it's on. Oh. -ho. Ah! 
What the? Come on! more than we bargained for. Can't wait to try on the outfit. Got it right here. Enjoy. So, what do you think? Do I look fabulous or what? You're just the way I like. Screw anyone who makes you feel ashamed. I appreciate that. So look, there's one more thing I need to help with. Didn't quite feel comfortable telling you earlier, but my parents were murdered when what? I was little. Wait a minute. Where are these guys coming from? Button, what are you doing to me? I gotta go to the bathroom. I can't take another one of those without going to the bathroom. That is very OP for a melee weapon. <clears throat> that was more than we bargained for. Can't wait to try on the outfit. Show me what you got. So, what do you think? Do I look fabulous or what? You're just the way I like. Screw anyone who makes you feel ashamed. I appreciate that. So look. There's one more thing I need to help with. Didn't quite feel comfortable telling you earlier, but my parents were murdered when I was a little girl. That must have been hard on you. How did you move past it? Spent most of my youth being raised by my aunt and uncle. They didn't exactly have the parenting gene. Made ends meet by running with a raider gang. When they weren't drunk or beating me, they were usually strung out on jet, psycho, or something worse. Only piece I found was reading those comic books. I'm sorry to hear that you suffered. One night, when I was falling asleep, a couple of guys barged through the front door with duct tape and knives. And well, you can probably guess the rest from there. When I came to, I was locked up in a cage. 
Come to find out later, my aunt and uncle had sold me into slavery to pay for the drug habit. I can't even imagine having to go through something like that. And that was my life for the next several years. Until Murphy's gang rescued me and wiped out those slavers. Been running with them in Concord ever since. What happened after that? Once free, I returned to the print shop to retrieve my old comics. Found out that my aunt and uncle had long since moved out of that place. Spent a lot of time trying to track them down. And I think I finally found where they're holed up. You want revenge, don't you? I want to make them suffer like I did. And I want you to help me make it happen. I'm excited to be a part of this plan. They camped out at a lake up north. I can mark the location on your pit boy. Let's head out when you're ready. All right. <clears throat> per any more death claw interruptions. fall off this building yeah did I <laughs> all right I think that's a perfect place to end it because I think we just squished a ghoul We had a lot of fun. The weapons are pretty good, but punchy weapons are my forte right now. And that is what we are going to stick with for a little bit. Uh, I think we've tested just about every weapon in the original list. Now I get to go through Button's extended list and add more weapons in. So that's going to be fun. But I would like to take this moment to thank you guys for being here. It's been a pleasure having you all, as always. I hope to see you guys next time, which will be tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. I don't know what we're going to stream yet. Maybe some more Poke Souls. But for now, that is it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you all next time. Peace out.